Would you look at that? A Cyrax video that's not split into four parts for once. No joke, since mid-October, the little guy's been going off the rails, so it's nice for us to be able to have a shorter one for once. But that's enough of an intro, don't you think? We've got a video to get to. When we last left off, at the end of November, he had briefly talked about how someone damaged Sally's car with a brick. But what do you say we jump right on into that? Starting on December 1st, Cyrax would be pretty displeased with how much money had been allegedly made off of his stolen works, posting this to Facebook. This makes me fucking sick to my stomach. This is how much I've lost this year alone because of these evil people stealing my work and not me being able to fight back. <coughs> I could be doing so much more for my family and friends with this alone and I don't know what I'd do because I have no money to fight back with at all. Not only that, but CVG would also upload a picture of the Kia windshield at Cyrax's house smashed, saying, Heard the Kia failed the brick test. Turns out it was true. Well, a Facebook group that was on Cyrax's side was created, and Cyrax would upload this to Facebook talking about it, called, Thank you all for your support. What's up, everyone? Um, to the person that made this group, first off, I would like to say thank you so much for creating this group to help me out. Um... As many of you know, I've been through a lot of shit, and I've made my fair share of mistakes. I'm not gonna lie, I have made my fair share of mistakes. Just like any human being on the face of this earth. Um, and I just wanted to take a moment to come on here and say thank you to the people that, you know, have reached out to me, have genuinely wanted to help me. Um, <clears throat> for those of you that are worried that I'm going to take my do not worry, I'm alive, I'm safe, and you don't have to worry about that, but I am going to be promoting this group <clears throat> like crazy to help get people behind this, because I believe in this movement, I believe in what's going on, um, as far as like, you know, trying to put a stop to what these people are doing. Because what these people are doing to me and my family is ridiculous. It is not right. And for the last five years, I've lived in a world of hate, anger, sadness, not understanding how people can be so evil. Um, I've also often wondered how Music Biz Marty and these people found me to begin with. Um, as many of you guys know, I'm 33 years old. Uh, I do a lot of music, artwork, things of that nature. I also aim to try to inspire people and help people through their situations and through the teachings that helped me. After that, the next day, on December 2nd, Cyrax would post a video to YouTube called Taking Back the Life You Troll Stole Away From Me, where he went after Marty of all people, someone that we haven't seen in a while, and then went after some others. Um, I'm finally speaking out on something that needs to be spoke out about. I know I sound like I'm stoned as s right now, but... I just got done crying my eyes out for like f***ing two and a half hours straight. Not out of being upset, but out of f***ing being pissed off at what I've been through. You dumb f***ing trolls. You don't realize the sh that you do and how it affects people. Marty, the fact that you could sit there and fucking dehumanize me the way that you fucking did. The way that you dehumanized me and tore me down. The way you fucking blackmailed me and extorted me. All these attacks that I'm getting, 
you're the one that deserves this shit. You and every control that's gone at me deserve this shit. I don't deserve this. All because I turned you down. You decided to fucking dehumanize me. Why? Why'd you do it? Why'd you feel you had to dehumanize me? When I turned you down, why couldn't you just leave me the fuck alone? And go your own way. Why'd you have to hire Kate? Why'd you have to do everything you did? You don't understand, Nick, the amount of fucking hatred that I fucking have towards you. You have no idea how much I fucking hate your damn guts. How badly I want to fucking beat your fucking ass for what you've done. Everything you've put me through. Everything you've done to me, my friends, my family. And what about you, William, and N-Word Boy? And CVG? You're just as bad, if not worse. Everything you guys have done to me has destroyed me in so many fucking ways. Made me feel like I'm not worthy of anything. When I actually am. All you guys do this for are fucking views. And you know it. So, William, shut the fuck up. Edward Boy, get a life. CVG, stop that like a bitch and get a real fucking job, you fucking sucker. Of course, Cyrax had to throw out Kate's name, too, into the void. And asshole, what about you, you dumb bitch? What's with the illegal entrapment, you dumb Hey, Kate, I'm going to tell you right now, if I ever meet your ass, I'll slap in your ass and tell your ass to get the back in the kitchen and make me that damn sandwich that you fucking owe me, bitch. Because that's where your ass belongs, in the motherfucking kitchen, making us food, making people like me that you put down. Yeah, you belong in the kitchen making all of us fucking food until you're dead. Cause you're a worthless piece of sh You ain't worth the dirt on the bottom of my motherfucking boot, bitch. You're lazy as sh You don't do sh All you do is sit on the internet and go, Oh, donate to me. Donate to me. And you use going after files as a way to cover up what you're really doing. Which is using people. You ain't really going after files, nah. You're out here using motherfuckers. You're using people and stepping on people to make yourself look good. That's why you do it. Cause you're lazy. You got no drive. You got no skills. You're a lazy with a few thousand views. I don't care if you got a million subscribers or a hundred subscribers. Just because you got them over a hundred thousand subs or close to that don't make you better than nobody. You're nothing more than a fucking bitch, a dog, a piece of shit. You're worthless scum. And you had no reason to do what you did to me. 
None. You had no reason. Your little excuse of, oh, because you gave off bonbons. That's all that is, is an excuse. I have made, I'm f***ed up. But who's the one that initiated it, you dumb broad? It wasn't me. It was you. But yet, you don't want to take responsibility. Why? Because you're a piss poor, idiotic bitch. You're worthless, vile, disgusting. And if you f***ing trolls think I'm going to let you off, you're sadly mistaken. I'm tired of being victimized. I'm tired of you motherfuckers running around acting like you f***ing know me. When you don't know shit about me. Cyrax then tells us about the storm that's on its way, and I'll let him explain it because he can do it way better than I ever could. You guys are disgusting. And trust me when I say a storm is brewing. And this storm that I'm bringing ain't no fucking regular ass storm, motherfuckers. I'm bringing fire, hell, and brimstone with me. And I can tell you this right now. None of you are gonna survive it. At all. Not one of you are gonna survive this f***ing storm that I'm bringing. Cause I don't care whether you like it or not, I'm taking my life back. That you guys have f***ing robbed me of, of the last five years. You're using this whole I'm a file thing when I'm not. You're using that to cover up what your real goal is. Which is to use me until I'm dead. Well, guess what, bitch? Not anymore. I'm taking my life back whether you f***ing like it or not. Don't like it? Sit and rotate, you f***ing motherfuckers. I don't care. I'm taking back what I should have taken back all those years ago, which is my motherfucking life. I'm taking back what you motherfuckers stole from me, which is my life. You guys have done nothing but put me down, maim me, harass me, dehumanize me, demoralize me, and made me feel worthless. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? Time to repay the favor. I'm bringing the storm this time. And I promise you, none of you, not one of you, is going to f***ing survive. So all I got to say is this. Be prepared. Because I'm bringing hell. And I'm taking every one of you out. Well, CVG would also go live that day with a stream called Cyrax Quit and is already back after the Kia got bricked where he admitted to knowing who did it. Hey. Um, I mean, people have admitted to doing it who didn't do it because I know who did it. But that's beside the point. <laughs> I know who did it. Do, do I fully agree with it? That I'm a little torn on at the moment. Um, is it funny as hell, though? Yeah, fucking course. Got to fucking know course. Of fucking course it is. Without judging me. The next day, on December 3rd, Cyrax would upload a video to YouTube called All Trolls Are Lazy Liars, Raxing Out the Moment That He Hit Record. So I'm about to piss off you little fucking trolls, and I don't give a f you little chromosome mother 
this. See, y'all sitting there all saying, oh, he's a He's a He matched the girl that is underage. No, the fuck I didn't. See, Kate was of age. She is not underage. Therefore, the does not motherfucking count. You don't read. Because, see, the true definition of a file is somebody that goes out and meets up with an underage child and attempts to do sexual acts. I never met up with an underage child. I was tricked into doing what I did. And not once would I ever, I am not that stupid, to meet up with an underage motherfucking child. I'm not stupid. I was tricked. You reach need to get a motherfucking life. So, you want a real file? Look at Tony. Look at White Bowser. They're the real files. Tony admitted to liking girls that look underage but are of age, which is creepy as f Got caught with child on a USB stick and lied and said that it was for that it was a friend of his. That it belonged to a friend of his. And third, he got caught taking pictures of underage girls at a fucking mall. Then you got White Bowser, who is a file. This dude literally got kids that were underage to watch with him in a f***ing Discord server. Underage kids in a Discord server to watch f***ing with him. And attempted to have them do sexual acts on that Discord server while on the video call while watching this so you want the real files? Look at those two motherfuckers. Philia means you go out of your house, you meet up with young children, and you commit sexual acts. None of which I have ever done or ever would. So you retards can do this and rotate. I know the law better than you guys do. I have family in law enforcement and within the legal field who know about what's going on and even they have said that I am not a file. A real file would actually meet up with these people and do the shit that I was tricked into saying. Cyrax then said that everything he's ever said was justified because of his trolls. All you guys are doing is trying to make a quick view and a quick buck off me because I look different. That's all it is. Oh, and those death threats, they were warranted. You want to know why? Because you motherfuckers pushed me to that point of making death threats. You guys have showed up to my house and tried to kill me. You've tried to kidnap me. Tried to attempt murder on my life. Tried to assassinate me. Assaulted me. Shattered my family's windshield, tried to steal our car, harassed my family. So yeah, every threat that I make is f***ing warranted. Every threat, every single one, every death threat that I make, every death threat that I make towards you guys is warranted. Because of the sh** that you guys f***ing put me through. So you Tarts need to grow up and get a motherfucking life. Cause y'all ain't sh You're a bunch of pussies looking for a quick fucking buck. That's all it is. You're lazy retards. You don't have any life skills. None of you fucking work. All you do is sit on your asses and try to fuck with people all day. That's not work. That's called being a lazy-ass content creator that doesn't know what the f*** they're doing. Then, Cyrax announced new music albums on a stream called Official Cyrax Rock Metal Albums Dropping in 2024 and tried to make it sound as hard to get one of these as it is to get the one Wu-Tang CD. What up, y'all? 
so I seen y'all's comments and to y'all that did like what I did and agreed with what I said in the last few videos, I appreciate y'all. I do. But as for you chromosome motherfuckers, you dirt napping little bitch leeches, what y'all don't realize is since that video, your boy's been back in the motherfucking studio working on some brand new motherfucking music that you trolls ain't gonna get your hands on. None of you motherfuckers are gonna get your hands on. And one of them just has one of the songs I recorded just happens to be for a fucking rock album. Yeah, that's right. Your boy's coming out with a fucking rock album as well as a metal album. And you know what's funny? Y'all trolls think you're gonna get your hands on it? Not this time, motherfuckers, because uh, when I drop my sh it's gonna be directly to each and every fan individually. Which means y'all motherfucking trolls ain't gonna get your hands on it. I'm going to be personally delivering every song and album to every fan personally that wants the music. And no, it's not going to be posted publicly for you trolls to get your hands on. But for the real fans out there, let me just put it this way. Yo, boy's coming out of retirement to drop some banger music that y'all fans been wanting for so fucking long. Your boy's gonna be, especially for my rock album, your boy's gonna be talking about a lot of shit. I'm gonna be talking about a lot about my real life, shit that I've been through, the hell that I've dealt with, abuse, and all kinds of shit, man. We're talking about abuse. Depression. After threatening his trolls more, Cyrix would end the video announcing the albums again. But as for the real fans that want to hear my work, your boys come back with two albums back to back for 2024. One of them being a motherfucking rock album, and the other one being a fucking metalcore album. So, to William Glory Hall and all you face motherfuckers out there that want to try to run me, I have one thing to say to you. F*** you and f*** your community motherfuckers. The rock god Cyrax is back. Then, for a few days, Cyrax would go dark. For a while, but that doesn't mean that he was off the internet. Two days later, on December 6th, Tommy C of the Lol Cow podcast would briefly touch on Cyrax and how they're trying to get him onto the show put myself in this position and, and and you can say the same thing about all the lol cows like i'm sure cyrix i tried watching that holy shit. um Dude, that's depressing oh, that God. Is that's depressing not even fun stuff. it's not even fun no. Ugh. 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 we're trying to get him on though you guys are aware he's got like pedo accusations right does that matter I don't know. I don't know. Anymore. If he comes up and says, look, um, I want to use your platform to molest children. <laughs> I think it's a problem then, but uh, yeah. I don't think it really matters. I'd put I don't know. Head. I don't know anymore. I just figured you'd want to know. All right? no, I do want to know, but I just like, so, so does everybody else. Yeah. The next day, on December 7th, Southern Harlot would upload this community post implying someone from Cyrix's past was coming back to haunt him soon. I told you. I told you, Cyrax, your lies will always come back to haunt you. I don't think the community will be ready for this one. You have lied on this man's sweet soul long enough. Well, Cyrax would upload a video later that day called, I Own All Trolls. Cyrax was mad, but not entertaining mad. Fern, scrap 891. First off, you chromosome looking motherfucker, you don't do, you do, you don't run sh You don't. You think that you can sit there and tell me 
who to be, when to get better. So they're saying that, oh, you don't want to get better, that one had to win. No, I didn't. I decide that. Not you, f tard. You bitch made all the. The only one that doesn't get it here is your retarded ass, you dumb mongrel little looking little bitch. And as for you, N word f boy, you dumb f you little bitch made motherfucker keyboard warrior looking little dirtbag. <laughs> you. Uh, you think you run me, but you're delusional as See, you don't run sh You're a delusional little f it. Who does something but sit on his keyboard and types away like a bitch made f***ing pussy all day, dude? That's all you do. You type away your shit like a little bitch. But you know what's funny? You can't legally own a f***ing human. That is not physically or legally possible. Slavery was abolished over 200 years ago, you dumb God. And you say I'm fucking stupid, dude. And you say that I'm fucking stupid, but I'm not. Cyrax projects a lot, and I really hope that he isn't doing it in the clip that I'm about to show you. And hey, N-word boy, I'll bet your ass ain't even ever been in a real fight before, motherfucker. Oh, what? You scared that I hit a nerve? Your ass has never been in a real f***ing fight in your life. The only fighting you do is probably with your mom's underwear when you secretly put them on when she ain't looking. Stupid fuck. Cyrax actually tries to say that his skullet looks good and then did some more call-outs. And famous last words. What's up with you, dumb f***? Are you trying to get f***ed in the ass by these dumb f***s? Probably because you're gay as f***. You look dumb as f*** with that butch ass haircut. Yeah, I may have a skull, but so what? I rock this sh like a boss. You rock your sh like a bitch, dude. You look like a f***ing bitch that just did 30 years behind f***ing bars. The next day, on December 8th, Cyrax would upload a video to YouTube called Bouncing on My Own Accord, where we're told that he's leaving again, and then starts referencing a four-post disagreement on Reddit, saying that it's infighting. Hello, all you feeble human trolls on YouTube. I've noticed something since yesterday. Every one of you seems to be fighting amongst yourselves like children. None of you can decide on whether you want to have me stay or you want me to leave. Which I find funny as f And by the way, I was the one that caused you guys to fight amongst each other. Just so you know. That little fighting that you're doing, you unknowingly fell for my shit, and I made every one of you fight amongst each other. And how I did it, I'll never tell. But, since you guys want to sit there and fight like she children and whiny little fucking babies, because you're not getting your way on either side. So, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to make the decision for you. And I've thought about this for a while. Because I do have other projects in real life that I am working on that I have been trying to get back to. So, I'm going to do y'all a little favor. For all y'all motherfuckers, you better be fucking thankful because I'm tired of hearing the fucking bitching back and forth. The ones that I'm doing this for, y'all better be fucking thankful, dude. 
your boy is dipping out of this. And not because of everything that's going on now. But because I'm tired of hearing the bitching over and over and over. Oh, please stay. Oh, go. Oh, stay. Oh, go. I'm tired of hearing it. I don't fucking need it. Besides, I have other real life projects that I'm fucking working on anyway that I'm starting to pick back up on recently that I haven't touched all year because of you ass dumb bitch ass trolls. So, for all y'all dumb bitches out there that want me gone, you better be fucking thanking me. But I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this because I'm tired of the fucking headache from y'all fucking bitching fighting all the goddamn time like a bunch of schoolgirls, man. Come on. Y'all sitting there and fighting like a bunch of schoolgirls all the damn time, man. Wake the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. Stop bitching like children. If you want me gone, I'm gone. If you want to stay, I'll stay. But I got fucking tired of it. So I said, fuck it. I'm out, bitch. Sign R. See you later. Kiss my ass. Like I said, I won't miss YouTube. And the only thing that I'll be doing on YouTube are vocal covers, and that's it. My main channel... Sayonara. The only thing I'll be doing are vocal covers once in a great, great while, and that's it. But outside of that, see you later, motherfuckers. All you guys are doing is wasting y'all's time, bitching and fighting amongst each other, attacking each other for no fucking reason, and it's stupid. You know what's funny? All the shit y'all saying do about me is fucking false. And y'all know it. Which I find funny as f <laughs> And I also do know the real reason why you attack me. And it isn't because of the pet. It's because I do look different. And I have more than enough evidence to back that up. But... Y'all trolls don't get the pleasure of seeing that. Well, that being said, fuck you trolls, fuck the troll community, and fuck YouTube. I'm out, bitches. Unlike y'all, I got a real life to get back to, man. I got shit around the house I can do. I got projects that I'm working on. So I've actually got shit to do. Unlike you motherfuckers. I sit around and type away on your fucking keyboards all day like a bunch of But anyways, I'm out y'all. Fuck you trolls. I'm out this mug. Peace. But of course, Cyrax didn't leave the internet. But we're going to get to that in a second. Later that night, Spooky, the leader of the Spookies, a reference to one of the better Shin Megami Tensei games, would get Cyrax on panel for a stream where he managed to get in Cyrax's good graces. I got these audio problems, bro. I got this thing. Hey, Matt, what's good, brother? Good luck. Oh, man. How's it going, bro? It's, 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 been, it's been a time for me, Cyrax. Both my parents have died. Oh, man, you were right about everything. I shouldn't have trusted those Betty White acolytes or whatever the f*** they were called. Wait, what what happened exactly? Like Phil, like explain from the very beginning, like what exactly went down. Alright, so so they they paid me the money to troll you, right? You remember yeah. that? Yeah, I remember yeah. that. And man, we were good we were good buddy pals for a while, but then then they, they, they told me that they wouldn't pay me anymore unless I hurt your feelings. And and then you said all that hey, I feel like you may have put a curse on me. Why? What happened? Because they, they went after my dead daddy, and, and now they're going after my dead mommy, and I just, I don't know how to feel about this, Chance. I just, I can't, I, I needed to come clean tonight on, on a bunch of things. That, uh, that UIS, say what? Well, wait, hold on. So, wait, were your... So rewind a second. Were your parents still alive when we last talked, or were they still? They were. They were alive when we talked, and and now they're gone. Okay, man. so what? Hang on, back up. So, sad thing here. What exactly happened to your parents? Like, what happened? What went down? Oh, they just got old and died. But like, 
Uh, for natural causes. But you said my life was gonna go to. You said that. And what's crazy, dude, is that wasn't even necessarily a curse. That was just me, like warning you, like, hey, you keep doing this, shit, it's gonna go bad real quick. Cyrax would go more into detail on what happened to the Kia's windshield, and then talked about how Marty has moved on from him. I think so, like something about keying her car or something. No, somebody ended up taking a break and destroying our fucking windshield. We literally had to pay over a thousand dollars just to get it replaced because we don't have, or we didn't have insurance on the windshield, so we had to replace it out of pocket. Dude, they literally, they like, I legit got photos, sent it to a few people, and they're just like, "What the? Fuck? Like this is going way too." Far. I mean, dude, they literally have Facebook groups made about me, all kinds of shit, dude. Like, it's insane at the level that they're going to. Even Marty's moved on. Even that can tell you, dude, Marty's done moved on. Yeah, Nick is Marty's done. Got, if you wanted his court records, we got them, man. Spooky's well, dude, I put, it, I put it this way, dude. Marty's now moving on to um, Chris Thorne and Leslie. Yeah, those are like some trailer park people, aren't they? Yeah, but dude, he's moved on there. Um, the ones that are screwing with me now are uh, the UIS, William Gorehill, <laughs> obviously, uh, CBG, Edward Boy, and uh, you know, something wide or whatever. <laughs> something unbelievable actually happened during this call, though. Cyrax apologized for chasing off Film Finance Freddy after Spooky said that he was the one that sent him. You can ask Matt, dude. They were fucking begging for fucking content. Oh, man, Mr. Marty, or Marty got fucking mad at me, Nick. He got mad because I sent someone to help you out during all that. Uh, his name was yeah. Film Finance Freddy. He was going to give you money and stuff, but y'all chased him off the porch. Wait, that was you? Yeah, he said, have you heard of, you know, Spooky? He said that to you. I, I can find the clip somewhere. Oh, dude, I honest to God thought, bro, I honest to God thought that he was a fucking troll, dude. No, that was my that was my buddy. I'm not going to say his actual name, but Film Finance. Yeah, I know, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, dude. He's dude, when I... He's anti-Marty. Like, like okay, Marty, see, he's, I he's, didn't... He's film... The film financer instead of music business. You know what I'm saying? He's the anti market Yeah, yeah. Financer. And what's funny, and dude, get this. One thing that Matt can even tell you, Marty ain't in the fucking music business. No, he's not. He's not. He can, he and can what's have funny, uh, some is another story. thing that I found out, dude. One thing I found out is that if the main guy that ran Sony saw what Marty was doing, dude, he can leak. Like, that dude can legally sue Marty because he's using his image to f to do what he's doing sorry about that i right, get dude but i sent someone to help you i'll, I'll chase them off the porch though he's gonna get hey, i do i do porch. apologize that man i do sincerely apologize just dude you gotta understand man i've had so many people showing up here and yeah you thought he, you thought he was gonna try to get you like, a bat probably but he's trying he's trying to give you a fat stack man he's trying to give you a wad I and i do but I, I do genuinely apologize like Next time you talk to him, man, tell him that I do apologize and explain to him that I did not realize that he was here to help out. It's just seeing as, because, like, I watched the video, and, like, my first thoughts were, okay, this dude's a f***ing troll. No, he was excited yeah. to meet you and everything. Is He's got some money, and, and you know, it's he. I do apologize money. for that, man. I do sincerely apologize for that, bro. There wasn't really anything of note for the rest of that call, but what there was was something that would be found that night. Cyrax, true to his word, started his VTubing career with a channel called Perfect Gamer. I want to warn you in advance, this is bad. Hey everybody! Welcome to my channel, Perfect Gaming. I am your host. The one, the only, the fabulous, Nickel Gamer! And today, we are playing one of my personal favorite games called Flash Party for Steam. It is free to download. So, 
you can get it for free on PC and I believe Android as well. But if you guys do like this, be sure to hit the like, the subscribe, and the notification bell up on the below. <laughs> but you guys know how I can do that. <laughs> but uh, seriously, hope you guys enjoy this. And somebody tell me why she always liked horror from Avatar. Somebody tell me that. Few people have listened to more Cyrax gameplay streams than me, and let me tell you, this is the worst content that he has ever made. We're not the fire breathing Avatar! Bye! I win! Again! Thank you! Goodbye! I win! <laughs> I win like always! Did I just sound like you made your sim? Get over here! I even made his win! Oh, I didn't make him sim! Sweet! Well, that channel was deleted within like two hours of being discovered, causing Cyrax to go live with a stream on Facebook called A Bit Angry, where he announced his retirement. Again. I'm gonna say this in this f***ing group because I know my is gonna repost this. I'm tired of fighting you So, I'm gonna do something about it. Y'all want me gone off of, off of YouTube? Fine. I, Chance Wilkins, am hereby retiring from YouTube permanently. You want me gone? <laughs> I'm gone. I'm sick of this. <laughs> So you know what? I'll just keep my <laughs> mouth shut. I'll go back to doing my artwork outside of social media and doing my <laughs> on there. Because I'm tired of fighting you dumbass <laughs> that are the laziest <laughs> that don't want to see me do good. You say you want to see me do good? No, the <laughs> you don't. You're a bunch of lying little <laughs> that deserve to have your <laughs> neck. Because half you <laughs> are <laughs> chomos. You sit there calling me a child, but you <laughs> are the real child predators. You <laughs> are the ones out and going around touching little kids. Hey, King. What <laughs> are you fag? Tony the <laughs> face black dragon. You <laughs> are the real predators, not me. Hey, White Bowser. You fat f***ing tug of art. You f***. <laughs> you are touching our little kids white bowser, you stupid f***. <laughs> Hope and pray to God I never find your ass, because if I do, I'm beating your ass. And Tony, same with you, you crippled <laughs> I find you, I'll kick in your goddamn ass. Same with you, Kate. I don't ever lay my hands on women, Kate, but you know what? Your <laughs> ass, I'll gladly make an exception for you. <laughs> you dumb. <laughs> I'll gladly make an exception and <laughs> slap your ass. Then, things would go bad for Cyrax when Kate from Mastral Mafia, William Gloryhole, Southern Harlot, and Boomer would interview the brother of Zach Hussein, the man that Cyrax claimed was his best friend. But, right before that, Cyrax would go live on Facebook with a stream called, I'm Tired of Being Okay. Note, this is going to be sped up because he talked for like six words a minute. This is like at 1.75 speed. Hello. I don't know who needs to hear this or who needs to see this. But if you're not a troll, and you don't know who I am, I am shit. I'm 33 years old. And I am a victim of online trolling and cyberbullying. This has been going on for several years, and I just, I don't know what to do anymore. And 
I don't know how to make it stop, but yesterday when I got out here, I checked my messages. Um, the messages I read, some of them were brutal, some of them were evil as f But there's one on here in particular that's super long. I'm not gonna read that entire thing. It's really really long. But this guy showed just how the trolls operate. And this is their mindset. Every day with me. Let me read you the last couple of lines in this. A long text I got. And it reads as follows. Nobody's going to take care of you and your welfare won't pay the bills. Your life is going to go into the gutter soon, boy. All these trolls are going to do are going to be sitting here, streaming you, and making money off you, till you check out of life. The rest of that stream was just the same lies that we've heard a million times before, so we're going to skip it and go straight to the interview. Hey, you are the man of the hour, so um, I'm sure Boomer actually had to ask me a little bit about this lore. He wasn't quite this deep, because the, uh, the Zach Hussein lore um, goes back like almost a decade, right? Yeah, um just two days ago was the anniversary of my brother's passing december 7th oh, wow so I'm it's so sorry to hear that eight years right, now. Yeah. it's all right and yeah you know i was nine years old six days away from my 10th birthday um uh, it's on the 13th by the way Ouch. and so you know i personally have never met trans in person thank god but you know when i was maybe 10 11 years old he texted me on messenger and he's saying, you know, he's one of his ex friends and all that. And I was like, all right, whatever. You know, I talked to him because I've talked to a handful of his ex friends. But, you know, other than that, me and him have never talked much. And honestly, I don't believe either of my parents even have a clue on who he is. Like, I've, as the video that Southern Harlot provided to me, he was never close with us. I talked to my brother about him. He says, straight just ignore him. He's a nutcase stuff like that and, I'm, and we have we have screenshots of all this as well um mohammed did reach out to his brother um and you know he you know we we have this if you know some people they like to see these things we do have screenshots of everything if we need but i want um really quick to talk about what mohammed just said um if you guys missed it when he was around 10 years old um chance contacted him he contacted him it was probably, I want to say about three or four months um, after his brother had passed. And I'm sure, you know, him being young, his parents probably tried to shield him from all of this. Um, being that young and having such a horrible thing happen, that's a lot. That's a lot on a 10 year, 10 year old. And then to have someone just reach out to you and these messages, it's just, it's wild. I mean, he, he sent you um, he sent you screenshots of what some of the thugs were saying around Akron on YouTube about your brother. And he sent you, um, he sent you like news footage and, and all kinds of things, didn't he? Yeah. Um, he sent me screenshots under YouTube videos regarding the case. Right. And there's people, you know, saying racist things about us due to us being, um, Muslim and Arab, more specifically we're Palestinian. And... But like I said, like I've, like I said, how I've never met him. I honestly believe, I know for a fact they were, that they were never close. If I had to throw a wild guess, he probably just talked to him a handful of times, just nice to him. And that's what Chance, a lot of people have thought. Yeah. At he obviously most. lacks social skill. But like, even, you know, I was young, there are certain memories that just stick people throughout their lives such as my brother's funeral. I remember it in the entirety. I remember every little thing about that. He was sure. not there. He was not there for the memorial service beforehand. He was not there for the burial. And we would have other memorials for him, like at the pizza shop itself. We had one there. We had one at a local lake. He was never there. The gang would even talk about Cyrix's recent VTubing escapades and how he was found out. So I had to look up what a VTuber was. <sighs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I had to look up. So do you remember I used to have this chick on the stream sometimes, nothing against her. She's a lovely lady. Oh, you know, she's a, 
not older, but she's she's not a minor. Um, and she would come dressed like this anime person, right? And I couldn't figure it not not dressed like it. It was like a, you know what I'm talking about. I'm such a boomer with this stuff. But come to find out, it's this VTubing thing. And so I was like, oh, I'm somewhat familiar with this, but not like Chance is doing it at all. Like, holy. So where did you guys find this last night? I didn't even ask. So um, N-Word Boy. We all know, we all love N-Word Boy. Um, I I didn't ask him his uh, source. Um, But for the most part, he, he, um, a tab was left open during Pants' stream, he has a bad habit of that happening. Um, he's got caught several times with tabs open. And um, so N-Word dug into it, and he that's where he found it. None of us knew about it. None of us. Yeah, and it, it kind of, I mean, to be honest, it took me by surprise. It's something I did not even expect was possible out of him and to him just blatantly and that's huge that's huge to take william by surprise you know i was also kind of like once i figured out what was going on with it i was shocked as well so this is what chance is doing now speaking about his you know proclivity for minors like this is weird hey everybody (laughs) you know perfect naming i am your host (laughs) the one the only, the fabulous Nickel Gamer. And today, you can hear his voice in it too. Yeah. One of my personal favorite games called Flash Party for Steam. It is free to download. So you can get it for free on PC. And I believe Android as well. Are we going to have to watch this whole thing? But if you no. Like this, oh, thanks. I don't know how much more this I can do. <laughs> I don't. I just want to headbutt this. I don't even know how to react. Yeah, yeah. I just want um, to understand what this is. So this is obviously this is marketed to children, right? Absolutely. It, very much so. Yeah. yeah. They would even go over the messages that Cyrax sent Zach's brother. Here he can be found sending a ten-year-old saying that he found a clue to Zach's killer sending his online chop, and sending insulting comments that were on the News Report's YouTube video. All right. So here we are, August 22, 2016. He's, he randomly messages a 10-year-old boy, and the first thing out of his mouth is, hey, man, call the police ASAP. Yeah, I was about 10 years old. <laughs> and he said that he found the clue to sex kills. I provided screenshots of... Yeah. Photos that he did send. yeah, can you make that bigger, Kate? Yeah, can you make that? Bigger? Hold on, let me see if I can do it this way. Yeah, those. Oh, oh wow, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where's the next one? Hold on. The first, nope. they should be in. Yeah, I'm having a hard time right now. Yeah, they should like start at the very first one and then you can just right, go in order. No, no, right, so right, go back. Right. You see the little right. white screenshots on the bottom? I yeah. actually blew those up too. Those are oh, yeah. The These are yeah, right, right. those are from the screenshots that he sent. He sent me those. Whoa. Yeah, yeah there was a, a rapper yeah. in Akron who kind of sh- is that to send to a kid? Right. You f- oh. your family. Yeah. I love when the first thing you said was like, hey, man, call the police. And Muhammad was like, why and who are you? Yeah. All right. Dude. And then he goes on to be like, I'm a, the best friend of your brothers. And he starts sending him not only these horrible statements online, but he also starts sending him. Um, he sent you his online clipping. store. He sent you yes. his online store. <laughs> he did. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did you send him? Don't hold us back. Um, really, uh, Sean, I did not talk to him after that. That's really all that it is. You're safe until you get the winky face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have um, flash. I have flashbacks. I really do. I have flashbacks. I mean, we could probably put those in Discord once we clear out 
you know the name. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, the people couldn't really read what it said. He was just um, essentially telling me, um, he's showing me of people who said things under a video of the case of my brother, yeah. saying racist things about way. Arabs and making fun of our name, <laughs> just things right. like that. So in 2016, there you go. Out of nowhere, he messages a ten-year-old, and the first words oh, Jesus, are, yeah. "Hey, man, that's, call the that's police." Normal. That's yeah. super this is normal. This wild. Yeah. I found the clue to Zach's killer. He he lives in a movie, you know, mm -hmm. right? He does. The way he talks. The movie I never want to watch. <laughs> I can hate that guy. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty creepy. I uh, 100%. I'm Chance. I was a dear friend. And then he proceeds to like show with a 10 year old who's went through hell for a couple of months, this kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, equally Horrible as weird message. and kind of reprehensible is like this one right here, right? Like, so hold on. This one. <laughs> He's right about calling the police. <laughs> it's that one that i want to show where he uh then tries to like send a kid his merch like i don't really understand yeah he sent me his merch and i honestly don't even i don't remember even clicking on it look at <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid when was this a year July later. 6, oh, wow. 2017. Like, like, yeah. I would have been, yeah, been 11 at this time. Oh, my God. So I, I was inspired by time. Zach, his, his online merch store. I would give anything if that link was clickable and it was still there. I don't even, I don't think I even clicked on it. I don't remember anything from that. Oh, oh, and then, oh, you can choose your size. Did you know that? You can yeah. choose your size oh, on what? everything. That's usually the way it works when you order a fucking t-shirt. I'm sorry. And then later on, he also plugged his terrible music. Then, someone that we haven't seen in a nice little while would make his first appearance in the Cyrax verse since October 22nd. Music, business, Martin. Just ask for a moment of silence. All right, well, first and foremost, I just have to say something. Considering, like, how big of a clown Cyrax is, it's really easy to forget that this was a real tragedy that definitely impacted a family. Like, Zach Hussein, by all accounts, was a great man. He was a scholar. Um, let me say this. I had an uncle who was convicted of Mopri, and even at his funeral, we held a minute of silence. Now, considering that Zach Hussein was like five times a better man than my Uncle Ray, and the, the chat should hold this as well, I think we should have five minutes of collective silence. I right. would counter that to ten. Well, let's go. That was pretty much the end of that stream. And you know what? It was enough to get Cyrax riled up enough that he would do a stream called The Storm Is On Its Way and Fast. Ah, right, y'all, so I'm about to piss a lot of f***ing people off, but I don't f***ing care. This video is going out to everybody out there that has tried to be my fake friend, has smiled in my face, and then stabbed me in the back. Has done shady sh to me. Has made me look like something I'm not. Has dehumanized me. And basically f***ing used me. Which is about 90% of the f***ing idiots that I deal with. You know what's funny? Y'all motherfuckers sit there and you say that I'm weak. That I'm this. That I'm that. Bro, what's funny is y'all's words don't ever match my f***ing actions. And you know what's funny? Y'all sit there constantly saying, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, but the truth is I'm not doing those things you're saying. While you're asleep, I'm over here busting my ass doing what I need to do to try to make a living. You know, every single day, I find a way to pull myself out of the darkness for myself 
and for my family and friends and those that I care about and those that care about me. So you can sit there and say that I'm weak, but every fucking time you guys knock me down, I bounce back. Cyrax then starts asking the real questions and goes full racks on us. But the one thing that gets me is this. You guys sit there and say that I'm this and that I'm that. But here's my question to you. How do we know that you motherfuckers ain't the files? I mean, your little fucking show and I just showed how sick you guys are. You guys don't really believe that I'm a file. You guys just wanted me on Kate's channel for the fucking views. That's all it is. And you guys tried to use my best friend's brother to do it. And guess what? You still failed. Every one of you is a fucking failure at life. Instead of getting out and actually doing something good, you sit there and you attack people for no reason. You sit there and you use people for no reason. And your little stunt and I just showed how weak you motherfuckers really are. And just how delusional and how desperate you guys are for views. I mean, come on, I'm trying to lure me onto a fucking stream just to get views. Do you not have anything better to do? I mean, you sit there and you victimize people, and then when your victims fight back, you point the finger and say that they're the bad guy. Or if you entrap them and you trick them into doing something that you know is wrong, and then when they fall for it stupidly, you then sit there and you point the finger saying, Oh, they're the bad guy, they're the bad guy, they're the bad guy. But really, who's the bad guy here? It's you guys. You're the ones that sit there and do this trickery. You're the ones that sit there and go after people for no reason. I know who's involved. I know every last person involved with the troll community, and I can tell you right now, those people are going to be removed out of my life very, very quickly, very, very soon. And we all know the only reason why you guys attack my Twitch, you attack my channels, and you attack my friends is because you want to try to shut me up. You want to try to keep me locked in fear. Then, Cyrax would once again tell us that the storm is coming and he's the one bringing it. Oh, and how could I forget, he even went after Marty again. Well, I can tell you right now for a fucking fact. That when this storm hits, you guys will be wiped out and you will have to pay for your wrongdoings. I am not joking there is a storm coming and I am bringing that damn storm I'm bringing that storm like hammer store and no that's said hammers up door I'm bringing that storm hard And you guys think that you're going to stop me, but you're not. But the one thing that you guys don't realize is this. By reporting me and doing this and doing that. And by making me not be able to talk to my friends once in a while. You're not making me mad. You're not making me mad at all. If anything, you're showing your true colors and how scared you really are. Like I said, I don't fear you trolls. I don't fear no man. What I fear is what I could possibly do to hurt you guys. I'm afraid that one of these days, I will end up killing one of you guys if I ever saw you in public. 
and I don't want to go down that road, so I avoid that at all costs. Because you asshole trolls, you're not worth anything. You're not worth the dirt beneath my boots. You're not worth walking on. You're not worth breathing the same air around. Yes, I've said a lot of shit that I regret, and that is true. I've done a lot of shit that I regret. That's also true. But at the same time, you have to ask yourselves, who brought that on? It wasn't me. Who started that shit? It wasn't me. It was people like Marty. People like Kate. William. And we're the boy. But you know who it really all started with in the very beginning? Marty. Because Marty, you couldn't handle that I turned you down. You couldn't handle me saying no to you. Because you've never been told no before in your life. Because you've always had your mom and dad there telling you yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not how life works. Life doesn't work off of all yeses. Because if life worked off of yes, everybody would get what they want. Everybody would be happy. Everybody would be lazy. And the world would be a mess. Terrorists would be destroying everything. The country would go to sh**. Nukes would be being launched. The earth would literally be being destroyed. Like, no joke. The earth would be f***ing destroyed. And then where would that leave us? Marty, I'm here telling you right now that you're a sick f***ing piece of shit. You're dog Actually, no, you're worse than dog You're nothing more than a cancer to this fucking world. Because you're a sick fucking tub of lard that does nothing but fucking talk shit and attack people. You're the reason why I'm in this mess, Nick. The shit you've done to me for the last five years is coming to an end very soon. And Kate, the same thing goes for you. William, you as well. Edward Boy, same with you. UIS, you as well. Wyatt, same goes for you. Every one of you trolls. A storm's coming, and I'm bringing that storm. The only difference between me and you guys. I'm doing my shit behind the scenes. While you guys do your shit stupidly out in the open. And don't think I don't know about that secret discord. Because like I said, I know everything. Cyrax would then give us one last warning and ended the stream. I know who your new, who your disciples are possibly going to be. Who you're looking out for disciples. I know all of that stuff. And in due time, that will be revealed. But for right now, just know this. A storm is coming. And I'm the one bringing it. So prepare yourselves, because this storm will destroy the, the entire troll community. So you may as well put your head between your legs and kiss your asses goodbye, because by the time this storm's over... The troll community will be done for. Entirely. So, yeah. If I was y'all, I'd start saying my goodbyes to the internet right now. Because by the time I'm done, you're not going to be allowed on the internet. None of you trolls will be. So, you may as well say your goodbyes now while you still have the chance.
Later that day, Cyrax would do another stream called A Call to Action. Guys, I'm making this video as a reach out for help. I genuinely need fucking help right now. For the last five years, I've been fucking terrorized by people like William Glory Hole, K. Peters, Music Biz Marty, William Glory Hole. An N word boy, along with people like CBG. I need help. These people are going way too fucking far, and I don't know what to do to stop these people. I need help. Like, I genuinely need help, everybody. This is not a game. I genuinely need everybody's help. For the last five years, me and my family have been being harassed, attacked, slandered, and terrorized. I have been being treated unhumanly. And I don't know what to do. My family doesn't know what to do. Every avenue we take, no one will fucking help us. I need help, everyone. Like that. Kate and William and these other motherfuckers are going way too fucking far and I need help. That. The police won't do anything. FBI won't do shit. And I'm getting tired of living like this. These people need stop. Cyrax would reference the Zack call that we just saw, saying that Zack's brother was tortured. Watching one of my best friend's families. I have to bear witness to what I've gone through. I can't handle that. One of my best friends is not even here anymore. Not even alive. And I have to watch their family be tortured the same way I get tortured. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I'm tired of this. I'm sick of this. These people need stop and fat. The cops here blatantly refuse to help. They literally refuse to help us. FBI won't do nothing. Nobody will do anything. I need help, everybody. Please. 
I need you guys to share this video around with everybody that you can to put a word out so that I can get the help I need. Everybody in my friends list, I urge you to please share this with everyone that you can. I need help. I am a victim of online terrorism. And they are not stopping. I need help. The next day, on December 11th, Marty would do his first Cyrax stream in forever, called Brief Check-In on Cyrax, WTF is this. Alright, so I, I can't see this being like a prolonged type of deal here um, as far as Cyrax goes. But I saw something that was like really fucking... Oh, hang on, what's this? Yeah, and I had an edible, so if I'm a little like out of it, there's there's your answer for that. Um, but I heard people were talking about like the Cyrax VTuber, and it seems like a lot of people understand what this means. But I clicked on it for it could have been more than ten or fifteen seconds. And I'm just at a complete loss of words, and, and and I don't, I really don't understand it at all. Um, I don't know how you guys know what this stuff is. I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to ask. I, I'm, you know, I'm not going to shame you for being uh, apprised of this. But when I saw this video, like, I, I couldn't help but ask, like, what the f*** is going on here? Marty, you're fat. Well, yeah, that's true. So I guess for those of you who haven't seen it, I'll tell you this. You're going to be, like, horrified and confused. Um, for those of you who have and have, like, an understanding of this, that's all that I'm really looking for because it's beyond baffling. It's beyond strange. Um, please help me. Please help me get like a grasp of, of whatever the f*** this is because it's, it's, it's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. It's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. So without any further ado, You'll see Cyrax here dressed up as like a little girl using a kid's voice. And we'll just get into it from there. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Nika Gamer. Any kids fans wondering? Yes, I may do. Even though I found quite a Okay, so right off the bat, he acknowledges that he sounds just like a little kid. Okay, so you, you'd want to... My first question is, why would you want to sound just like a little kid? Like, probably to appeal to other children, right? Like, who is this content designed for? Overall, like, what the f*** is this? What the f*** is this? Who, like, who watches this stuff? I think the answer is kids. Why is Cyrax doing this? I mean... It seems like the answer is to appeal to kids. Um. Well, the next day, on December 12th, Cyrax announced that he was going to be learning Unreal Engine 5. So as of today, I started proper... <coughs> so as of today, I started proper Unreal Engine 5 game dev class. Don't know how long the course will be, but hopefully by the time I'm done, I'll be dropping some really cool projects for you guys to play slash check out.
Then, Cyrax would do an interview with TV, another horror cow who's known for ripping drywall out of the walls in his apartment, owning too many bananas, being in love with an uncomfortably small you-know-what doll, and of course, copyright striking any video that has his face in it. Well, to give you a fair warning, if you strike this down, I'm going to drop everything to create, worse than Cyrax, the story. Title subject to change, but back to the interview. Good? Um, okay. We are recording in Cyrax. Alright, what is your name? You don't have to give us your full name if you don't want to, but just wherever you want to be called it for this. Giants. Yeah. Everybody knows the name. What's up? <laughs> and, um, you and I have a problem with the trolls. Yep. Alright. Tell me everything you want to tell me on the record. Well, for the last five years, I have been harassed. My family has been attacked multiple times. I was entrapped on zero grounds of them having any kind of proof that I was in or was a file. Um, my family's car windshield got bashed in a couple weeks ago. These people have like you've seen, wanted to, they have actually openly sent messages talking about how they were not going to stop until I was dead. They basically have openly admitted that they want me homeless, that I do not deserve anything at all whatsoever. These people have, like you've seen the video footage for yourself, these people have openly showed up to my house, um, tried to protest. They have assaulted me, which thankfully with that, um, with the with the dude showing up with the mask, um, I ended up getting off on those charges because of the fact that he openly was like, hey, I'm not showing up. So we ended up giving that to my lawyer and that's how I won that case. Just in case anybody know, that's how I won that case because that dumbass was stupid enough to post on his community wall that he wasn't showing up for court. So I ended up taking that screenshot and they ended up um, going in and dropping the case after that. Uh, a couple months prior, Music Biz Marty, who everybody knows, um, he ended up showing up to the ARBNB. Uh, right behind my house here, it's like, like you go down here and then you turn down that way and it's like right there. Yeah. Um, he, he ended up going there just to taunt me, said I wouldn't show up, and, you know, obviously we all saw that footage, obviously I did. And like I told people, you know, yeah, I may have gotten my ass handed to me, but at least I can showed up. At least I can did something. That's respect. Because That's respect there. Then, said something that no one should ever say. Cyrax, I think me and you would become best friends, you know that? There was nothing else of note in that four and a half hour call worth showing. The next day, on December 13th, Cyrax would go live on Facebook with a stream called Addressing the UIS, where Cyrax claimed to have a blood disease. So... I know I'm about to piss a lot of trolls off, and quite frankly, I don't give a to the UIS. I am addressing this man's video where I supposedly said that I'm a hebophile. Which, I can understand where you would make the mistake that I said that. But, when that video was done, dude, I said he ma, not he but. The reason why my M sounded like a B is because my f***ing nose was stuffed up and I was sick as f*** that day. But yet I still chose to go live to entertain motherfuckers because that's what I can do. You idiot. And you know what else is funny to me? You dumb f***ing little sh the fact that you guys sit there and attack anybody 
who says something against you, N-word boy. William Glory Hole. All y'all motherfuckers are fucking morons. Every last one of you is a fucking goddamn idiot. I mean, it's sad, honestly, that I have to sit down and break things down for you. Like you're a little fucking child. When you guys are grown-ass adults. So you, I ask, fuck you. And my boy, you're a fucking punk-ass bitch. CBG, you're a sucker. And we ain't going all we all know. We all know you're sucking Marty's Cyrax explained that he received this genetic blood disease from one of his ex-girlfriends that we don't know about. And get this, allegedly, when he's sick, he mispronounces B's as M's. Also, the reason he was sick is because of the trolls. I don't go around doing shit, you dumb f***s. And I sure as f*** ain't no goddamn hebophile. One of my ex-girlfriends that you f***ing read don't know about had a serious f***ing blood disorder. Which is what I was getting at. You don't. You know, it's funny. Because of you guys, I don't have a normal f***ing life. I have to deal with f***ing torture every day of my f***ing life. And quite honestly, I'm getting f***ing fed up with it. I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting f***ing tired of it. So what? My M's sound like f***ing B's when I'm sick. And you want to know why I was sick? Because of you motherfuckers. Stressing me out to where I was physically sick all the f***ing time. Because of all the yelling, all the being attacked, all the worrying. I was sick because of that sh And Marty, I'm going to tell you right now, you're a fat f***ing piece of sh You really are a f***ing piece of shit. Then, Cyrax, the man that's always talking about people's friends and families, tells people not to do the same with him, and then goes on about the narrative. If you have a problem with me, take it up with me. We'll settle it. Don't ever bring my friends and family into your f***ing bullshit. Because all you guys do is lie to create a narrative. That's all it is. It's a f***ing narrative. You want the real files? Go after people like Tony. People like White Bowser. I mean, look amongst yourselves. I'm pretty sure there's files within y'all's ranks. I'm pretty sure that there are files amongst you guys. But yet, you don't go after them. I'm over here minding my own business every day, and you guys decide to target me. But yet, you don't want to go after people like Tony. That right there is sus as f And why is it that whenever somebody makes a video on me, you guys attack them? What, you got something to hide, motherfuckers? You got something that you're trying to hide? You got a narrative you're trying to keep going? And you know these people are speaking facts. So what? You try to hide? 
Because you're fucking scared. You're scared of the fucking truth. You are scared of the fucking truth. Cyrax then tells us how he's the embodiment of vengeance because all of us are going to pay for what we've done. Your days of harassing my family, of using me, manipulating me, all those days are done. And I'm fucking sick of it. I'm tired of the bullshit. I am going to make sure that not only are my wrongs written and corrected, but I will make sure every one of y'all's fucking pays for what you've done to me and what you've done to other people. Because let me tell you right now, I am the embodiment of vengeance. And trust me when I say, I will get vengeance for those that you guys have wronged and pushed to f***ing kill themselves. I will make sure that their deaths aren't in vain. I will make sure that you trolls pay for what you guys have done. Because see, unlike you guys, I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong and do what I have to do to make shit. But you guys, you ain't got that kind of manpower. Because you're not men. You're not adults. You're man children. Cyrax would then leave a special message for a few people and end the stream. Also, you've heard seven years? Well, now it's eight years. Sam. I was manipulated. I was harassed. I was bullied. I was dehumanized by every one of you motherfuckers for over eight goddamn years. And I'm sick of it, dude. Eight fucking goddamn years. You guys have manipulated me, slandered me, harassed me, bullied me, threatened my life, put my family in danger. All for what? Fucking views? Fuck you. The troll community. N-word boy. The UIS. Kate, the dumb bitch of YouTube. And every single troll that wants to run their fucking mouth about me. Because like I told you, dumb trolls, unlike you, I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong or when I've done something wrong. And I'm sure it's not afraid to make shit right. And if you don't like it, ask me if I f***ing care, because I don't. All you trolls are scum. Then, later that day, Marty would talk about how Cyrax made him laugh recently. In the movie theater, um, I was given an online ticket. The managers... Um, two of the employees and one manager was like, yep, it, it's good. Go to room eight, your front row. So I go in there, I get the Okay, can't take any more of this. Oof. Um, yeah, so Cyrax actually made me laugh today. He, he, he genuinely tickled my funny bone. Uh, almost to the point of disrepair. Um, so I remember back in the day, like when everyone first started calling him a pedophile. Thank you. Yeah, no, you're welcome. Thank you. That, that was rough, but yeah, you're telling me. You're telling me. Um, yeah, so back when we first started getting called a, uh, a file, um, I, you know, I'm not proud of this. Maybe it's to be a contrarian. Maybe because I thought everyone deserved a defense. 
and because like the the influx of uh, of the Mastro people were were pretty. Uh, a lot of them were pretty chuddy. Like I like Kate, good woman, funny woman, charming woman, but a lot of the people that came in on that crowd were just absolutely insufferable. Marty, watch the video that we saw earlier where Sarx claimed that he had the blood disease. The reason why my M sounded like a B is... So, I know all you guys are going around the internet with your tongue flapping around, yakking off at the gum, saying that I'm a file. Well, technically, I'm a hemophile. Someone who bleeds a lot and can't stop bleeding once he gets hit. It's her like he knows what stuck up and I was sick as f that day. Marty did have to correct Cyrax though on one small thing. And hey Marty, you're nothing but a fat, lazy piece of fing shit that doesn't can do a goddamn thing in his life. Except sit there and be lazy. Don't forget, I'm a racist, too. I'm a staunch, hardcore racist. And use motherfuckers. While Marty was streaming, Cyrax would be told about it on the Spooky stream. Cyrax, bud. It, it, it seems no. your old friend, musical business Martin, bud, is talking about you again. He's, okay. he's talking shit, bud. He's talking shit about you on stream. And I give up about that bad piece of shit. Why? Here's the thing about Marty. Compared to me, he is a nobody. Without me, he would not have his career. He made his career off of my back. And just like him, you little fucker, I own every single troll. And you want to know why that is? Including you, Freddy. You want to know why I own all of you? Because all of you make money off of my content. And without me, you have no content. And when you have no content, you don't get paid. Listen, so, bud, I'm doing this as a so favor. I own, so I own all of you controls. And if I didn't, why do I live rent free in all? of your heads and even can just like even can agree with that that i do live rent free in all of your heads if oh, i did yeah, not, if i did not then why do you continue to make videos on me every single day why do you continue to regurgitate the same bullshit content that nobody watches every single day. Unfortunately, neither the Marty stream or the Spooky stream would add anything of note, so we're going to skip the rest of both of them. Then, things would be quiet for the rest of the 14th, but pick back up on the 15th when Cyrax would go live on Instagram this time, where he started thanking... <laughs> No, I don't. This is actually something that I've been waiting for a very, very long time to say, man. This is something I have been just super excited about. As many of you guys know, for the last eight years, I have been a victim of a lot of stuff. Everything from extortion, attacks, threats, bullying, harassment, just some of the worst things you can imagine. And I can honestly say that without a shadow of a doubt that I have finally escaped the troll community. A good friend of mine 
actually proved that I'm not what these trolls have been saying that I am. And by this time next week, it will be fully confirmed in full. But as of this moment right now, the war between me and the trolls is done. I can actually move on with my life and get back to doing my music, get back to doing what I love for you guys. Being able to put out new music that you guys want. And I know a lot of you guys are personal friends of mine. You know, some of y'all are actually really good friends of mine. And to those of you guys that have stuck around. I know first off, before I get to you guys. The person involved. That actually is responsible. My good friend. I want to say thank you for helping me out, brother. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been able to escape this. I really would not have been able to escape this without you, dude. So to you, I say thank you, my friend. 100% because without you, I wouldn't have been able to prove these guys wrong like you did. And I truly appreciate you for that, man. Cyrax would then tell us the story of his non-existent girlfriend with the blood disease. Ah, oh, excuse me. Hey, what's up, guys? I am back. Sorry, I guess. My mom was letting me know that she's going to work with my stepdad, so. But, like I was saying, you know how we all have that one friend that, like, you can, like, go a month of talking. And then, literally, you can, like, stop talking to them for, like, a year. And it would feel like nothing passed. Like, nothing changed. You just picked back up right where y'all left off. Well, that's how me and her were, dude. Like, so, I did not know until a couple months later after, you know, she went ghost like she does to take breaks from social media. I found out from our mutual... A uh, friend from high school that she had passed away. I had no idea because in that time frame, me and her were, well, me and her were still together and then she kind of disappeared for a few months like she does. And then in that time span, I found out that she had passed away due to blood issues. And trust me when I say, I was a wreck. Like, I was a f***ing mess. OMG, the clock begins. Oh, it's all good, dude. It is all good. Yo, Adam K E 92 what up, dude? What is up, Adam? And that was it. Like, no joke, that was it. Cyrix's stream cut out while he was playing video games and we got nothing else that day. At least nothing that I could find. But regardless, it was nice to have a shorter Cyrix adventure for a change after the last few. I really don't have a message to close off this video with. Oh wait, I do. Hey, remember when I said as long as you didn't strike my video, I wouldn't make a video on you? Well, I lied. I'm doing it anyways. And by the time this video comes out, it's either going to be done, almost done, or finished. And unlike some of the other channels you've been striking like Southern Harlot, Fed Smoker, and very likely Psychosis, as a partner channel, I have access to YouTube support. But for the rest of you, aka the real ones, as always, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon. But wait, what's this? Attention, my fellow members of the council! It's great to see that you could make it. As you probably know, there have been some cards made of us. Well, I've managed to scrape together enough money to buy three packs. With any luck, we'll be able to get the cards, sign them, and then sell them for a massive amount of moolah. Those cards were sold out weeks ago.
What a bad situation to be in. As unfortunately as it is, both Volume 1 and the Holiday sets are now over. But don't worry, because the mythical Volume X is just around the corner. It's a whole new set with new trolls and scribes waiting to be unpacked, as well as some returning faces. If you're interested, check out my affiliate link down below.